September after we uh, dedicated lab three with Betinasi, we visited with a second lady. Uh, that's our, our custom. Every time we come to, to Ghana, uh, Deborah and I go to say hello to her uh, and to sort of share what we're doing in Ghana with her. Basically, when Jafat meets someone at the highest levels, he follows up and speaks with them so that they get to know us both as people, find out what are their interests, what are our interests, and how can we work together. When we met with Second Lady Samira Bamiya, he asked her if she could suggest some villages in the north where we could place our fourth lab because we didn't have any contacts in the north. I also served on the Samira Empowerment and Humanitarian Project Foundation. She has a little foundation that she's been using to support various initiatives in the country. Uh, mostly uh, girls empowerment as well as uh, handling women issues. So I serve on that board. So um, as an extension of that, um, of my relationship with her, I said, well, we'll look into it. So I was able to have a conversation with uh, Deborah Rose, who is the president of the organization, and to sort of prevail on her for us to look into uh, the North at the request of Samira to set up uh, our lab for there. She chose two villages. Kofui did a needs assessment. One was more well off, had 15 computers already and a smaller student population. One of them had up to 8,000 students and one computer. So it was clear that's where the need was greatest. And we went with a model, uh, the Yamansa model, which is an assessment of the size that she's chosen uh, to come up with the right frame, with the right um, reasons and, and the right environment for us to put the right um, lab there. So Kafui did that and they chose the Chogu Demonstration School. And that's how it all happened. So um, I'm very happy to have been a part of it. And um, I've had a conversation with Deborah and she seemed to be very pleased with uh, us locating this lab four in this part of the country. My name is Kafu Prebi, I'm CEO of TechAid, and we're happy to be the technology partners for the Nyamaransa model. The Nyamaransa model lab 4 is one of the best that we've done under the model. Uh, it has all the educational software's low voltage solutions as well, and especially also the Asanka, which provides multimedia content freely to the computer lab. This lab was built with two labs because the class sizes are so large here, it's like 100 students, and we said you can't possibly teach computing in that large a class. So that means there are two labs and the Ministry of Education will have to pay for two ICT teachers. But this is fine, this is how the children learn. The content on the lab allows them to learn anything based on ICT, science, technology, English and mathematics, and it has different forms of content it's one of our best labs that we've done under the Yamansa model. We're, we're very happy that the lab is going to touch over 4,000 children uh, from 10 schools plus more. The lab is going to be used for technology trainings by the Ghana Education Service and also for the community as well. So we're very excited that the lab has come to stay in Tamale Chogu and it will be a great place to have technology affect the lives of people and to impact lives. What I could see on this trip was having the support of the second lady and the news that's going to result will advance not only the ICT centers and implementers and the Yamaransa model, all of them together and will induce the government to put a line item in the budget to pay for maintenance. This fits in with President Otto's Ghana Beyond Aid but the whole sustainable, locally sustainable model has just taken a huge, giant step forward.